into this inner self, this journey for the next 45 minutes to listen to our body. So we're going to start with three deep breaths in through the nose. And allowing ourselves to exhale fully through the mouth. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Inhaling once more. And exhaling to let go and release. Allowing your body to fully start to relax yourself. Become really, really heavy. Starting from your head. Feeling like it's dropping a little bit down towards the ground. Feeling this incredible heaviness going, drawing from your shoulders towards the ground, towards the sitting bones. Your arms becoming really heavy, dropping you a little bit lower. Hands are becoming super heavy and relaxed. Every inhalation is raising us ever so slightly. And exhalation allow us to melt deeper and sink into the mat. So building this connection with our sitting bones, with the ground, bringing that energy up through our spine towards the crown of our head. And just observe this natural flow of energy. Every inhale, raising us up. And exhale, allowing us to release and relax. Stay here for a few more moments. And I invite you to ask yourself, how does your body feel? Just be really honest with yourself. Scan it from the top to the bottom. And don't judge. In this silence, can you start feeling your organs? Can you start feeling how your heart is beating? If so, do you actually feel it only in the chest or can you feel it somewhere else? And keep bringing your awareness to the breath. So once again, when we can control our breath, we learn to control our mind. Through the breath, we quiet our mind. So take this couple of more very aware breaths to expand fully and completely. Deliver oxygen and fresh new energy each particles of your body, allowing the exhale to release any tension, any toxins out of your body, fully and completely. A few more times here. And today our focus of the class will be directed to our spine. So it's 
especially from sitting in long hours in front of desk, our spines become very um, kind of freeze. It's like they, they have one line on the spine. There's not a lot of movement, and it's it's not really great for ourselves. There is a saying that you are only as old as your spine is. And in order for your spine to be healthy, you need to bring a bit of movement to it. So imagine your spine has these discs between the, the vertebrae. And imagine that through sitting and through age, these discs, they are like sponges. And basically the more we sit and the more we grow, they become very flat. So any kind of movement that we're going to do today, it will start lubricating this disc and bringing it a little bit more uh, flexible and it should bring a lot more flexibility and just beautiful feeling in your spine. So again, throughout the practice, at any point it becomes hard. Once again, listen to yourself and back off. From here, we're taking the last deep breath in. And exhale to open our eyes. Now I invite you to um, run three of our breathing exercises. So we've done the previous two weeks, Vailoma 1, Vailoma 2. And now we're going to connect those two. It's called uh, Vailoma 3. So um, we're going to start inhaling for through the belly first. So imagine that when you breathe in, you really start expanding your belly, then your middle chest, and at the very end, your upper chest. We're going to divide the breath in three parts. In between each of the parts, we're going to hold it for a um, couple of counts. And then we're going to reverse it and go down, exhaling. So we're going to go for inhale three, hold it for two, then inhale for two, hold for three, and then inhale to fully expand the lungs for one, and then hold at the top for four. And then reversing, exhaling for one, holding for four, exhaling for two, holding for three, and exhaling for three fully and completely until there is nothing left in the lungs, hold it for two at the bottom. And then we're going to repeat that a couple of times. Don't worry, I'll guide you through it so you won't really get lost. So take, start with taking deep inhale. And exhale to release. Okay, we're starting. Inhaling for three, two, one, hold it for two. One, inhale for two, one, hold it for three, two, one, hold it fully for one, uh, sorry, inhale and hold it for four, three, two, and one, exhaling for one, hold it for four, three, two, one, exhaling for two, one, hold it for three, two, one, exhale for three, two, one fully and hold it for two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Hold it for two, one. Inhale for two, one. Egg, hold it. Inhale for one and hold it. Exhale for one, hold it. Exhale for two, one and hold it. Exhale for three, two, one, hold it. Start inhaling for three, two, one, and hold it. Inhale for two, one, and hold it. Inhale fully and completely for one, hold it. And exhale for one, hold it. Exhale for two, one, and hold it. Exhale for three, two, one, hold it. Two more rounds. Inhale for three, two, one, and hold it. Inhale for two, one, hold it. Inhale fully and completely, hold it. Exhale for one. Hold it. Exhale for two, one, hold it. Exhale for three, two, one, hold it. 
And last round, inhale for three, two, one, hold it. Inhale for one, two, hold it. Inhale fully and completely, hold it at top. Exhale for one and hold it. Exhale for two, one and hold it. Exhale for two, one, one and hold it at the bottom. And come back to your regular breath. Just notice the effect of the breathing. And we're going to move to our practice. Great. If you hear anything that is might be quite loud, I'm really sorry about that distracting the cat right now. So um, yeah, he's been trying to get into the room, so sorry for that. Anyway, so let's move to our all fours. So we're going to start with um, warming up to our wrists. So make sure that you've got your knees directly underneath your hips, placing your palms, spreading them super widely, and just bring them underneath your shoulders. So you're going to press for the um, fingers, grasp them towards the ground. We're going to start circling through our wrists, exploring all the corners, and go really as your wrist allows you to. So listen again. Some people can go and bend really far. Some people can just do little circles. So don't judge yourself if you cannot. Just allow this movement. This movement brings a lot of, again, nutrition to your wrists, to your joints. So any kind of movement is super great. So we're going to switch to the other side. You can go as fast or as slow as you like. Just really bringing that warmth through the wrist. Great. From here, we're going to turn our hands, bringing the fingers towards the outer sides. So again, keep holding the um, wrist directly underneath the shoulders, but the fingers are facing to the walls. From here, we're going to come to switch from one side to another side, just leaning from one to another. And explore. Once again, keep your focus on these areas that may feel a little bit of more tension. Just really be in this stretch. And then a couple of rounds from here. And then turn to the other side. And we're good. Okay, bring your hands directly underneath the, the shoulders fingers pointing forward. From here, we're going to come to a couple of cut and cows. We have not done before. I really want you to um, keep your focus and engagement from your tailbone. So we're going to in initiate every movement from the tailbone. So uh, as we uh, inhale, we're going to go to our cut. So we're going to really turn around. We're going to tack the table in, curving the back, stretching through the um, abdominal muscles and as we exhale again the thing that is directing us is the table it's really tucking under it's allowing us to squeeze the belly really in and we exhale and then move in your own breath explore and experience and just allow this table to guide you inhale as we lift up and exhale as you round the back, really pressing. So starting the lubrication and the movement of the spine. Looking up and looking towards the navel as we round. Great, come back to neutral. From here we're going to go through, um, so pushing ourselves to down facing dog. And then to start like a little ripples forward. So as we're bringing our hips up and back, trying to bring your heels towards the ground. I know for some people it might be quite intense if you don't have the mobility in your hamstrings. So just allow yourself to bend the knees and stay there. From here we're going to ripple forward our spine, rounding the back, going through, moving through the plank. And then we're going to bend our knees and ripple back. And then bring the knees back, bringing the hips up, and then allowing our heels to draw down back on the ground. And then again, we're going to go onto our uh, heels, 
we ripple our spine forward towards the plank, engaging the core and then dropping the knees down, curving through the back, then opening through the legs, allowing the hips to go back up and then dropping the heels down towards the ground. And we're going to repeat it several more times. So go in your own tempo once again with the breath. So inhaling, lifting the knees, and then allowing yourself to round through the back, going as slow as possible, bending the knees down, and then coming to bend, lift the heels, lift the hips towards the ground, straight through the legs, and then the heels go back towards the ground. And then again, we're lifting our heels, allowing the ripple forward, moving like a little wave, really. Bending the knees, allowing the hips to go back up, lifting, straightening through the legs, and the heels go back down. Last round, moving forward, inhaling, and as we exhale, we bend through the knees. And then starting to inhale again, our hips go back up to the center and then dropping them, heels down towards the ground. Wonderful. From here, we're going to just make sure that we've got the right distance. So placing the feet, hip distance apart, making sure that our fingers are widely spread and pressing through our hands, lifting the hips as high towards the sky as possible, tucking table under and allowing the um, lower belly to fully engage Take the last breath here, and exhale from here, inhaling, raising your right leg up towards the sky, and then press, flex your right leg, and press the foot as if you were to push away the wall, just feeling the elongation through the spine. And from here, we're going to bring the right knee towards our chest. And from here, we're going to thread your right knee towards the side, Opening you with your left hand up, allowing the hips to sit down. And then we're going to come back onto our, our hands, lifting your right leg up towards the sky, back to down, facing dog. And we're going to open up towards our side of the body, dropping it onto the left. And then our right hand travels up towards the sky, and we're coming to sit down again. So it's a kind of movement onto our hips. We're going to move it a little bit faster now that you, uh, you got the idea. Coming back, pushing ourselves back to down facing dog, lifting right leg up, and then exhaling, drawing the left, right knee towards the chest, and then threading it towards the side, opening through the hand, allowing our hips to drop down. And then standing back up, pressing the left hand towards the ground, lifting right head, leg back up, and then allowing it to fall, behind, and it's like a circular movement of our hips, dropping back down, coming back to center, last round, left leg, right leg goes back up towards the sky, and then dropping it towards the chest, threading it down, allowing the hips to come to sit, and then once again, pressing ourselves back to down, facing dog, placing the left hand up towards the ground, right leg goes up, and then drop it behind towards the left, and allowing our hips to sit back, sink down. Inhaling, coming back to down facing dog. Lifting the right leg up towards the sky. As we exhale, we bring our right knee towards the chest and we step that foot in between our hands. If this is a bit hard for you, you can always help yourself stepping the hand with your leg, your leg with your hands and gives you a little bit more space. From here, we're just going to drop our knee onto the ground. So once again, if you have sensitive knees, now we can bring the, the blanket under. We're going to move ourselves through a little bit of circular motion again for the spine. So we're going to reach our hands forward and then just round and circle around towards the back and then move forward as we inhale and exhale, come to round circular motion couple of more times, forward, inhaling, and as we exhale, we round, forward, inhale, exhale, last time, inhale, and exhale. From here, planting both hands onto the ground, we're going to start to lift our left knee from off the ground, and really plant through the right knee. From here, we're going to start lifting 
our left leg up towards the sky, coming to standing split. So obviously, this is something that will not, it might feel hard for you. So do as far as you can. You don't have to come to bring your leg super high. Thank you, just for one moment. And from here, we're going to start circling through with our left leg. So once again, it's great for your hips. And you start working on the spine as well. So do as big circles as you can. Try to engage through the left leg by flexing your foot. And then switch to the other side. Keep holding. If you cannot hold your right leg super straight, it's absolutely fine. You can bend through the leg and just explore the circles. Once again, bring your focus towards the joints, towards the tension. And from here, we're going to start bending through the right knee and the left. We're going to stand still straight onto the right, come to variation of bringing our right, left knee towards our chest. From here, we're going to bring hold of both hands onto our shin, left shin. And perhaps we can stay here and then pressing the knee, the shin, against our hands to stay still. So imagine that you broaden through your collarbones and we're creating that little shape and engagement here to stretch through the legs and the hips. If you wobble, it's absolutely fine, it's super normal. So this is a balancing pose that is really great for um, building more uh, brain cells. So it's pretty great for your brain. Inhaling, and as we exhale, we're going to bring both hands towards the ground. With a lot of control, try to step back. And then we're going to press through our hands and step right leg back up towards down facing dog. Inhaling, pressing through the hands, exhaling, the hips go back and sink a bit lower in this down facing dog. From here, moving through the other side, as we inhale, lifting the left leg back towards the sky. And then again, flex through that foot, keep pressing it, feeling like there is something pulling you from that leg. Thank you for one. Inhaling, and as we exhale, we draw the knee towards our chest and then thread it towards right. Once again, lifting right hand now, allowing the hips to fall down. And then the circular motion brings us back, lifting our hips, pressing right hand towards the ground. Left leg, leg goes back towards the sky. As we exhale, we drop our leg behind towards the left. And we're coming through. Nice drop down on the hips. And coming back up, lifting the left leg up towards the sky, exhaling, coming to thread the knee, lower the hips down. And then once again, pressing through the hand, coming through the one-legged dog, inhaling, exhaling, dropping down to the right, allowing the hips go down, and then moving back up. Last round, inhaling, left leg goes back up, exhaling, left goes towards the knee, Threading it down, allowing the hips to move down, and raising up, lifting the hips. Your left leg goes back up towards the sky. As we exhale, we draw the knee, leg behind us, allowing the hips to come down. As we inhale, we raise from the hips, come back up, lifting left leg, staying here for one breath. From here, as we exhale, we draw left knee towards our chest. And then we step the leg in between our hands. Okay, you're doing super amazing. If you can follow that, I, you're, you're super great, honestly. This is really great for your hips. So from here, dropping your right knee onto the ground. And once again, going through the circular motions with our hands to start moving through our spine. So we're reaching forward, inhale, exhaling, and exhaling, moving back, inhaling as we reach forward. And exhale as we move back. It's almost as if we were swimming here, reaching forward and then back, reaching forward as we exhale. Inhale. And then a couple of more times. Feeling the stretch not only for the spine, but also for your uh, hip flexors and groins. Great. 
And from here, we're going to bring both hands onto the ground. Once again, tucking the toes up in the back of the right foot, lifting the knee. And from here, we're going to shift ourselves forward to standing split. So inhaling, right leg goes up towards the sky and try to open up. And then just stay here and experience this pose. I know it can be quite intense, but it's just a matter of really quieting the mind in this intense poses. And from here again, we're going to start circling the leg. Let's try to keep flexing through that leg now to engage the glutes. And we'll do several times in one direction. And then switch to the other direction. So really go as big circles as you can. Wonderful. And from here again, grounding through that left leg, we're going to start raising ourselves back up to standing on the left leg, bringing our right knee towards the chest, and then grabbing hold of the shin, pressing, opening through our chest, allowing the heart to shine. And maybe pressing a little bit harder for the shin, creating that opposite sensational vectors of energy. Inhaling deeply, exhaling. Once again, challenging your balance. If you want to challenge your balance a bit more, you can even go to a bit bigger back bend. Just to keep yourself stable, keep pressing your left big toe and coming back to center. From here, once again, with plenty of control, drawing ourselves down towards the ground to place both hands and then the right leg steps behind. First the planks, we're pressing once again through the hands. Now left leg travel back towards plank. And then we're pushing ourselves to down facing dog. Like a brief, deep breath here. If you'd like, you can come to your child's pose to rest. Otherwise, we're going to stay here. It's a very beneficial pose as well. So keep pressing all the knuckles of your fingers away from the ground and allowing this energy move through your hands to the spine towards the sitting bones and then going all the way down to your legs and then coming back to the ground onto your heels thank you for one more breath if you have come to your child's pose come back to down facing dog now inhale last time here and as we exhale, we're going to bring our both knees onto uh, the ground. So we are back to all fours. From here, we're going to come to something really nice for the stretch again. It's called threading the needle from, for, the, for the hands. So we're going to start with our right hand. So really grounding the left palm onto the ground. And we're going to start with inhalation, reaching our right hand up, towards the sky, as if we were to open a book. Reach, and then as we cannot reach any further, we exhale, we're starting to thread the hand in between our torso, in between our left hand and the knee. And then try to reach with the hand as far as it goes. I mean, it's a very nice, juicy stretch of the back. And we're staying here for a few breaths, just to start to calm down the breath, calm down the practice giving a very nice mobility in our spine. If you'd like to feel a little bit more, you can press harder for your left palm of the foot of the hand. Inhaling, exhaling. From here, we're going to take our left hand forward, and we're going to look forward, feeling a bit of different stretch in the shoulder now. So you're stretching both shoulders, one internally, one externally. Looking forward, staying here for a few breaths. Deep inhalation through the nose, directly to your belly. As we exhale, we surrender. Stay here for one more breath. And exhale. From here, coming back to your cheek, we're going to bring our left hand and place it perhaps on the uh, opposite thigh, so left hand goes to the right thigh. We're coming to twist even deeper. 
obviously listen if it's possible, if you can do it. Just listen to your body. Inhaling. Maybe you can open your chest a little bit more. If not, stay where you are. Inhaling once again. Exhaling to release. Now bringing your left hand to place back where it was. We're going to press as we inhale through the hand and we open the book once again with the right hand. Right hand goes back up towards the sky. And exhale, placing that right hand in front of our chest. We're going to move through the other side. So now grounding through the right hand, the left hand with inhalation goes back up towards the sky. Reach, reach. And now starting to exhale, engaging the muscles, trying to reach as far as it goes, getting a nice spinal twist. And again, we're going to stay here for a few breaths now to settle into this pose. And come to focus on your spine. How does your spine feel in here? Where do you feel it the most intense? Just answer to yourself. And imagine if there is any tension that with every breath you're bringing fresh energy. And you are bringing this healing energy. And we're going to, once again, take our right hand and now place it forward looking forward towards the right hand so I'm feeling that stretch it's pressing a little harder onto the left shoulder and feeling stretch in the right shoulder as well looking forward staying here for a few more allowing ourselves slowly to start to release into this pose now inhaling bringing our Right hand onto your left thigh if it's possible. If not, just grab anywhere there. Come to a little twist once again. See how deep you can make this twist. And explore. Now from here, inhaling, right hand travel back towards the mat. We're going to press through the right hand and lift the left hand back up towards the sky as we exhale place both hands towards the ground from here we're going to step the legs a little bit back and allow our lower body to come to rest so we're coming to sphinx pose on the front of our body so elbows directly underneath the shoulders this time creating l shape and we're working on opening this Collar bones again, so drawing our shoulder blades towards one another and then towards the spine. From here, any variation is good for you. If you want, to, if you have quite tense uh, lower back, then please bring your feet slightly wider. If it feels like it's a nice stretch for you, then bring the feet together. From here, we're staying here just for a few moments to slowly look forward, and it's really great for the lower back area to create that arch, the natural arch. That we're losing through sitting on the chairs. Engage your belly slightly. Keep opening your chest. From here, we're going to come to a bit of a more stretch. So, if you have this belt or piece of uh, uh, blanket or towel or anything, if you need it, we're going to stay on the left elbow as it is. We're going to draw our flexed left, left foot towards ourselves, and we're going to catch the left foot. So if you need to use the block, we we'll use the belt. We're going to keep working on drawing that, drawing that foot towards our sitting bones. And then just feeling that stretch. A little bit of spinal twist, a little bit of stretch with the quads. Staying here, inhale, and exhale. From here, <clears throat> once again, flexing through the foot, and we're going to drop now the foot on in the um, back of the left, right knee. We're going to draw the right knee back, and we're going to come to the same stretch, a little bit more twisting. 
and now pressing a little bit harder if you can. And once again, use the belt if you need to. From here, you should start feeling nice openness, uh, working on our rotation of the hips as well, working on the <clears throat> calves and the glutes. Staying here just for a few more moments. Deep inhalation to any areas of the tension and exhalation to release. And from here, come to release. We're going to switch to the other side. So left hand stays as it was, right leg comes to flex and lift, come closer. With the right hand, we're going to catch our right foot and then draw it towards the glutes. Keep inhaling and exhaling. <clears throat> Once again, staying here for a few breaths. Inhaling and exhaling. Now flex that foot, drop it towards the back of the knee of the left foot, and then draw the left foot back up. Feeling that's really awkward stretch. It's nice opening. So once again, listen to your body, see how that feels, see how far you can go. Keep breathing deeply. Thank you for three, two, one, come to release. Now we're going to push ourselves back onto our knees and come to sit it. So the last few more moments in a very nice fold forward for our spine and to release any tension from the lower back area. Coming okay, to a butterfly pose. So you have a couple of options here. If you'd like, you can bring your knees forward, creating this diamond shape. So we're going to work more on the fall, forward fold. If you like to work more on your groins, it's absolutely fine. Just bring your feet closer together, closer towards your sitting bones. So these are two variations. And from here, we're going to come to this relaxed version. I personally would choose this time to bring my, knee, my feet forward in this diamond shape. And then allowing your hands to drop forward. Everybody has different mobility of the back again. So just go as far as you can, trying to you try and put your chest to draw you forward. As we inhale and exhale, allowing ourselves to go a little bit deeper down. And then maybe, maybe you feel like your head could drop as well, allowing a nice stretch in this cervical spine. And then see if with every exhalation you can lower down a little bit deeper. See how the spine is getting longer. And come to quiet the mind here. Really experience what that pose has to offer you. And from here, we're going to move a little bit deeper. So, bringing both of your hands underneath your calves, trying to catch your feet. So we're kind of creating a little bit bigger ball. From here, rounding for the back again. And then draw your chin towards your chest. And then if you would like having a deeper sensation of the stretch, then try to really run through the back and press your feet away. Press your chin towards your chest, rounding even deeper. And explore how much you want to feel. Thank you, just for a few more moments. Enjoy the stretch, enjoy the opening of the back. And from here, 
Start slowly shifting forward, bringing the knees towards one another. You can draw the knees towards the chest, come to a little bow, cuddle in. And we're going to come to finish our practice with a Nadi Shodana, which is alternate nostril. We've done that before. If you like, once again, grab something that you could sit on a little bit taller to elevate your hips and feel more comfortable. And we're going through six rounds of Nadi Shodana, which is uh, going to bring both index, uh, index fingers, these fingers onto our forehead, resting it there, and then start with first deep inhalation, Exhaling to let go. And if you'd like, close your eyes for this practice. We're going to close the right nostril with the thumb and start inhaling through the left nostril. And we're going to close the left nostril and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close and switch to the left. Inhale through the left. Close and switch, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close and switch through the left. Inhale through the left. Close and switch, exhale right. Inhale right. Close and switch, exhale left. Inhale left. Close and switch, exhale right. Inhale right. Close and switch, exhale left. Inhale left. Close and switch. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close and switch. Exhale. And the last round. Inhale to left. Close and switch, exhale left, right. Inhale for right one. Close and switch, exhale left. And come back to your regular breath. Once again, observe the effects of the practice. You should feel living nice and energized and calm. Great. We have come, arrived to the end of our practice. Thank you so much for coming to this practice again. Namaste. Just meaning I bow to you. Um, Great, if you have any questions, feel free to, to throw them at me. If you have any feedback for me, I'm always open for the feedback and I always like some feedback, so please join in some conversation. Thank you very much, it was very useful for me, as always. That's good. Yeah, it was very relaxing, thank you for that. That's good. Feeling a little bit of more movement in the spine? Yeah, definitely. Especially the one where, I can't describe it, but it's the one where we kind of, um, I, I really like the one where we thread the needle. That's really oh. nice for the shoulders. 
Yeah. So yeah, it's really good. It's pretty great, especially uh, yeah, you're sitting a lot of time in front of computers. So it's like any yeah. any kind of longer holes is like, oh my days, I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> really and that really crazy one where we kind of like, um, it was almost like we were inside out and upside down, uh, like just totally opened up and then we kind of did it on the left and then the right. Um, I can't describe it, but it was really great. It was fantastic. Okay. So yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate uh, that you're here again and I appreciate your feedback. Honestly, it means a lot to me. Um, so yeah, so nice to see your faces. If you feel like participating in any other classes, let me know. Um, yeah, please email me, uh, per, per, email me directly on my uh, personal email. Um, it will be easy to keep conversation. Let me just write down. So, yes, um, I'm running four more classes. If you like something more that is um, longer holes and actually gets you through the body, I recommend the class on Tuesday and um, Sunday. They are really good. The Tuesday class is just a little bit of a flow, but then we have a longer holes, something very similar to Yin. It's like a combination of both. And on Sunday, it's really, really good. It's slightly longer class, 90 minutes. Um, and yes, the, these are, um, Alper has been a couple of times as well on the uh, Yin class and he said that this is something completely like different and better. So please feel free, um, explore the classes. Um, they, are for, they, they, they are for a little fee. So if you email me today, um, until the end of the day, I will throw an extra class for the price of the bundle um, if you're interested. Otherwise, you know, it's all down to you. So just uh, keep it in mind, explore the classes and come back to me. Great. Thank Otherwise, thank you so much for being here. Honestly, once again, as I said, it means a lot to me. Um, and I am looking forward to see you next week. And we're going to explore through different movements um, to keep on moving through our body, opening shoulders, opening the hips, opening the back and everything that you need to get you into your better posture and flow of energy. And thank you yeah. so much my absolute pleasure to being here i'm sad that we didn't have any te technical issues today um and so yeah <laughs> such a such a uh we have, we we're saying so i'm polish you can probably understand that my english is not as great so uh, we 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 have this sense, sense saying in polish it says a uh, stone of the heart which means that you're way lighter and it's just <laughs> so that's really okay. cool Thanks so much. Thank you so much once again. Um, yeah. And yeah, I'll see you all again soon. So, yeah, till next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Olivia. Take care. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Bye Have bye. a good day, guys. See you soon. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye.